contend for your glory tonight. We contend for your glory to come in this room and also to come upon the nation of India tonight. Right now we're going to go into a time of singing intercession through the word of God. So if you have your Bible, you can open up to 1 Corinthians 1 verses 5 to 8. exalted for you alone are the rightful king you alone have enriched us in every way you are the one who has given us life to the full and promised us life through your son Jesus Christ you alone have the power to change a man's heart and thus change his speech and fill him with all knowledge and wisdom Lord we call upon you tonight on behalf of Manipur and the missions team there we know that you have enriched every team member in every way possible. You have filled them with your love, with your knowledge and wisdom, with the gifts of the Holy Spirit and with the fruit of the Spirit. From this place of fullness, let your spirit pour out on the missions team, onto the people in Delhi and Amanapur. Give them divine knowledge and speech. Give them prophetic words that cut to the heart of man and lift up his spirit so that he may look to Jesus. Lord, pour out your spirit over Manipur. Pour it out over the Manipur team and let them be your hands and feet, showering your love on the people they encounter. Lord, we prophesy that you are adorning your people in Manipur and Delhi with jewels and crowning them with beauty. You are enriching them beyond measure, granting them a wealth, the wealth of your knowledge. You are pouring out your spirit and lavishing your love on them, transforming them and changing them from the inside out. You are expanding their territory and influence. You're granting them speech filled with divine wisdom and knowledge. You're releasing spiritual gifts and opening up the heavens that they may encounter the fullness of who you are. Lord, you are enriching your people tonight.
Christ among you. Lord, you are the ultimate author of our story. You are the one who intricately weaves our lives together and writes a beautiful testimony of your love and grace. It is our testimony of Jesus that brings breakthrough and releases faith for more testimonies. Lord, we pray for the Manaport team to release their testimony everywhere they go. We pray for their testimony to be proclaimed with power, releasing faith and hope among the Kuki people and among the people in Delhi. As their testimony goes out, let it be a prophetic word, a prophetic declaration for more testimonies of grace, of healing, of freedom, and of salvation. Let the children at Grace Home be set free by the testimony spoken out. Raise up hope and faith among the people in Delhi and Manipur and in the slums. Let them proclaim the goodness of the Lord and walk in His ways. Lord, we declare that you are marking the Kuki people and the people of Delhi with your love and giving them speech and knowledge that will confirm their walk with you and will bring more fruit and multiply your work. Let the lives of these people be blameless before you, shining as a light in the darkness. Let their lives and their speech reflect the glory of the Lord. Open up the heavens and pour out your riches on the people of Delhi and Manipur and on the missions team. Let them proclaim your glory in, the, in their word and deed. We prophesy that their lives will be an aroma of Christ, drawing men ever closer to you, Jesus. As they reflect you, Lord, let you be magnified. Let Jesus be magnified and made known to the people in Delhi and Manipur. Let the testimonies of the team be undeniably supernatural and founded in the truth and with Jesus as their cornerstone.
God, that they are going to be prisoners of hope and prisoners of your love. Yes, God, we thank you. Break into this place tonight, Lord. Jesus. 
Lord, you are worthy of all the glory. We just cast off all distractions and we give all of ourselves to you tonight, Lord, because you deserve all of us, every crevice of our heart, every thought. We take captive to you tonight, Lord, and we give you glory. We thank you, God, that you are our Lord and that we can come before you with our prayers and petitions and that you hear our cry. Right now we're going to shift into a time of singing intercession through the word. We will continue reading from 1 Corinthians 1, 7 to 8. Feel free to open your Bible and follow along. First Corinthians 1 7. Therefore, you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. Lord, it is your grace that has been bestowed upon us. You have bestowed your riches in Christ upon us. You have given us everything that we need and beyond. You have equipped us for every season of our life telling us not to worry about tomorrow. You have given us the spiritual gifts that we need as you have indwelled us with your Holy Spirit. The same power that rose Jesus Christ from the dead is living in us. We declare this faith and truth to rise up in the Manipur Missions team right now, Lord. Lord, give them a revelation of the power that they carry, that they carry the Holy Spirit. Let them manifest the gifts of the Spirit and minister to the people that they encounter. We prophesy that the Manipur team is being filled with faith and that the Holy Spirit is being poured out on them right now. Lord, they lack nothing. You have given them everything that they need. Let the spirit of boldness rise up in them. We cast off all timid timidity. God, we cast off all insecurity in the name of Jesus. And we declare that they are moving in the power and authority of Jesus Christ. Heaven is being released through them tonight, Lord. Jesus Christ is being revealed to every person that is at the revival services. Scales are falling from eyes. Ears are opening. Hearts are opening. We prophesy that your spirit is breaking out and breaking down all walls. You are causing hearts to turn to Jesus. And you are filling your people with spiritual gifts of all kinds. We prophesy that the people are going to erupt. Erupt with praise and experience a new level of your presence and goodness. Let your spirit break out in signs and wonders both in and through the team members and in the people at the revival services. Have your way, Lord. Pour out, pour out your spirit on your people.
heart into us. God, that you're imparting a burning heart into the people of India tonight, Lord. We believe it. God, we believe it.
acknowledge that you have established this home for your purposes. Right now we come together as one body and we lift up Grace Home to you. We thank you that the Manaport team is having the honor of serving these children and that they can come alongside the work that you are already doing in the lives of so many youth. We speak into their lives tonight and we declare that you are opening up their hearts to receive your love. Where hearts have been hardened by pain and abandonment, you are bringing restoration and deep, deep inner healing. Where hearts have been hardened by wrong done to them, you are showing them your goodness and your kindness. Where hearts have been closed off to love, you are opening them up to receive a great measure of your love. Lord, restore these children by your presence. Renew their minds with your truth and with your love. Lord, we speak out identity over these children, that they are the apple of your eye. They are worthy. They belong to you. They are loved and cherished. They are likable. They are likable. They are sons of the Most High. They are beautiful and made in your image. They are safe and they are cared give them hope and plant the truth deep inside of them give them a revelation of who they are in you and who you are to them lord strengthen pastor john and give him the wisdom and the love that he needs to shepherd these children and this ministry let him be filled with immense joy as the team ministers fill him with renewed hope with renewed joy lord we speak out your divine covering and protection over this ministry and we declare that as the team at grace home that they are going to be your hand helping chip away at the walls surrounding the hearts of these children. Let the team lavish your love on these children and on their hearts. Let their hearts melt before you. Let the atmosphere shift into a place of praise. Let praise break out. Let praise be the thing that continues on beyond the days of the ministry team. We prophesy that intimate praise is going to rise up in these children and an even greater joy and love is going to be established at Grace Home.
new hope, giving them new hope. You're giving them new names. You're giving them new strength. You're giving them new joy. You're giving them new hope. You're giving them new names. You're giving them new strength.
that you are going to have your way. Even if that means Manaporeans come to Delhi, Lord, we will not tolerate the enemy getting hit his way, God. You will get your way. He will not. You will have your way. Your purposes will prevail. Lord, we come against every demonic plan and scheme that has come against your people, and we pronounce it null and void. We bind up a spirit of religion that has wrecked, that has tried to wreak havoc on your work in Manipur and what you're doing among the churches. We bind up a spirit of witchcraft. We disallow these divisive spirits to reign. God, we disallow these religious spirits to wreak havoc. God, we bind them by the blood of Jesus. We cast them down. Lord, reach your hand down over Manipur and rip out this stronghold of religion and bring it crumbling down. Fill Manipur with your spirit. Breathe life over the churches there and cause the churches to be unified as one body of Christ. Pour out your spirit on the leaders and the pastors there. Let them have an encounter with your Holy Spirit and open their eyes to the fullness of who you are. Lord, we release peace and unity. We release clarity. We release love over the church and over the leaders of Manipur. We speak forth, God, that their eyes are going to see, that their ears are going to hear. Lord, we especially lift up Pastor Letlaw to you right now. We declare that you are showing him, God, you are showering him with an extra measure of your grace and wisdom right now. You are raising him up to have divine wisdom and discernment. You're giving him the exact words that he needs to speak, and you are building among them that's going to draw them into a place of your presence and fullness of the spirit it is your love that will bind them together as one body what satan has meant for evil you are turning to good you are awakening the church leaders you're going to have your way as psalm 24 says the earth is the lord's manipur is the lord's and the fullness thereof lord we declare to manipur lift up your head O okay be lifted up, O ancient doors. Let the King of glory come in. Yes, Lord, open the gates of Manipur. Let your glory enter.